Hello and welcome from around the world. I'm Christian from Berlin. You know that already. Why am I showing you always new chords? In my experience, um, all the licks you know and the scale play, they sound different if you have new chords. And in my experience, at least that happened to me, it means new motivation. You suddenly play a line and with other chords, say, wow, that's great, instead of just the one, four and five. And uh, today it's uh, not just three more chords, you know, like my series, have you ever played these three chords? It's now a little bit more, which means also you have to play less in the right hand because um, the chords will do a lot of, this, of the great sound and I will show you how that works, that you just have to play very little here to make it sound great. Let's start. Um, first I'll play the, the whole uh, progression. Nice, eh? And you see I, play, I played very little here in the right hand. So, But I'm also a little bit in a hurry today because I have an appointment. But I will still take the time, but in, in the case of cases you just have to rewind. We start. C. Don't look at my right hand now. So it's C. Uh, just the basic triad going to F and A and you know this from a lot of blues pianos these three thirds here these are the thirds wandering just up one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now we go back to the C and we just play one and two and three this is the C just with the B flat in the bass and we have A7 here A C sharp and G we repeat that one you go up the thirds and now you go up the down the bass C C and A7. Go up the thirds, go down the bass, then you are in A7. Then we go to D7, which is of course D, C, uh, F sharp and C, F7, C, A and E flat and G7. You know these. You know this is a great voicing without leaving out the five here that it sounds a bit it sounds nicer to me than it's more airy spacey especially down this area and then we go back to C and a quick change to F again you know this is an inversion also of F we know this from the beginning this ones and back now how is this fitting in the in the bar pattern with the counting one and two and three and four and one and two and three and now the bass going down bass down one two three four one two d7 three and four And the G, they share one bar. This is half bar. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So also here one, two and three and four and half bars also. And then in the end. Okay, you have to rewind if you haven't gotten, gotten it from here because we have to move on. My next student is coming in eight and ten minutes. Okay. 
you saw already what I did here. This means you can play here on this one the major blues scale, which is this one. It's these notes. Have a good look. And you can just play them up and down and it will already sound like a Ray Charles tune. I'll play a little bit. Let's see. Bam, ba, bam, ba, dam, bam. Now you can look at the right hand. You practice the left hand. You got it. You come back and then we play a couple of lines together. Just play it down. Nice, eh? This one is the sharp nine uh, together with the major third of A7. It just sounds so great and solely, no? It's quite Ray Charlesy, I find. Is that, an, is that a word? Ray Charlesy? Well, it's now Christian from Berlin. -y. So. in the end that fortifies your expression. Now, down. I was a bit different, eh? It doesn't matter, it's blues. Yeah, that's nice. It's nice here, and then you you play another thing here that you know. That round sounds really great here. Oh, even though I have an appointment, this is still like filling me with warmth. So it's our magic triangle here. Slower, Christian, settle. The drones thing here. This is always resounding with all of these threes. Then the two fingers slide up again. It's not a, a karate move, although it sounds like it um, from Pulp Fiction. It's it's a blues move. And you can see we played it just again. these things the scale and sound just great I can also start with it and now I'll play the line or I'll play this again you see I just combined now I'll show you something new Upbeat. Now F7. And nicer. Eh? So if you want, you just play around here with three elements with this one. You see, it also fits. It all fits anywhere you like. It's paradise. It's paradise. And that is because the chords are nice and the chords are offering always a, a new sound impression. Uh, then you, we try this. Now it's on A7 and still great. Practice this. Now we play the scale. And 
then. I shouldn't show you this to you. I should just go publish it and become rich. Uh, I shouldn't so, show you my best moves. Okay, I warn you, don't steal it and become a star before I am. Okay, so now you have these and this scale and you have these super moves. Or Yeah, it's DC. You can do... Don't think there's a magic. You see, it's no magic, I just repeat. an octave on the tension note on the blue note E this you also know okay here okay I play a little now jam you have basic elements to just play and fool around and um, okay let's see you know that I play but you know already some of the stuff subscribe you get all the secrets on my channel even how to cook pasta with just water and dust Seven here. Put the seven in here. Put the seven of G here. You put your ending here, the beginner's ending. It sounds great here. It all sounds. I'll show you. Scale, 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 octaves, here. That was new, I don't show it to you. always what Ray Charles says if he has to fill in there's something doing in the song he's always saying like oh wait a minute <coughs> but the song is not even a, a minute left and he still says wait a minute it doesn't make sense it's one of those soul fillers wait a minute wait a minute baby I enjoy
enjoyed this. I enjoyed this. Nice. Christian, you did something good for a change. Yay! Yay! Okay, see you next time. Take care. All the best from Berlin. I'm gonna rush out and see you in my next tutorial. Ah, in the weekend. What is coming in the weekend? Two great songs. Mustang Sally. Mustang Sally, which I always thought is called Must Hang Sally. And I always wondered why are they want do they want to hang Sally? I never figured that out. And then I learned just two weeks ago or so. It's must hang. And another great song, Proud Mary. Proud Mary. videos on this side. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.